Welcome to Breathing with Beerman, the podcast. As always, I forgot to say this too, our, our goal is to educate, inform, and entertain you, my people. Um, if you like what you hear today on this podcast, please listen to us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whether, wherever great podcasts are sold. Today's guest is a tri- was a triple threat. He's still in finance and everything. He's dipping his toes into what, we should, what I should say, the tumultuous river of local politics that is cannabis dispensaries. Should we have them or not? He's not really for them. And as you know, in Princeton, there's always um, one Princetonian, your five opinions in our little suburbwazi locale. What is your background again? Because I got that wrong before. You're in finance? Uh, I work in finance, and I moved in town in 2009, and I'm uh, a father of two kids. Father of two kids. Yes. Okay, we will, we'll leave the business side alone, but you seem like a bright guy. I've seen you before and talked to you <laughs> and everything. Let's get to cannabis dispensaries. A lot of you probably know what that is. If, if not, you can do your own homework. And, and on this podcast, I'll give a little preamble with some background information. What is your own personal journey into this issue? Now, the reason I say that is you are a father, you have, you have a job, you're a um, um, you know, wife, the whole thing. Why? Why are you now into this? Uh, to be honest, uh, that uh, I didn't really pay too much attention to the whole issue. And uh, I'm aware of the, uh, the, the legalization of the back in Funny, and uh, I remember there was uh, there was quite a bit of talk about social justice issues, uh, criminal justice reform, sort of heading into the legalization vote. And uh, I, for that reason, actually, I was totally for it. And uh, and I think uh, America. I'm new to this country, and uh, I always you came think, what 2009. You said or I or came what? here for business school. Uh, when was that? It was a long time ago. I've been here like more than 20 years. Mm-hmm. But you were okay. Yes. So, okay. You were 20 years of cultural uh, um, Yes, yes. I was able to marinate in the uh, glorious American culture for, for more than 20 years. Uh, so I was, uh, yeah, I was kind of a you know, grown up, you want to use uh, marijuana to define, and especially, I think, this country. As far as I know, it's about having second chance, right? Maybe third and fourth. Someone made a mistake, whether it's possession or whatever, got caught, shouldn't be penalized, right? Their life shouldn't be ruined, and I'm, I'm definitely for that. So after the sort of legalization goal was passed, it was 67% in the state of New Jersey. Uh, so I, I'm just like, all right, that, that's fine. <laughs> Nothing happened. Then, until last year, I uh, started to hear, I think it was like some sometime around September, October, and people talking about, oh, the town is thinking about opening up uh, three dispensaries in town. I said, wait, that was quick. <laughs> so the, the wheel was really kind of spinning after the legalization, and I think, uh, oh, that's interesting. And then more and more, starting to hear kind of rumors saying about oh, the dispensary will be potentially open sort of as close as 200 feet near schools. So wait a minute, that can't be right. Why, why pushing like 200 feet away from 200 feet? I think for people live in the, most Americans under, probably understand, people who live in the metric system, I need to adjust, convert a little bit. Then 200 feet, how far? 200 feet is about the li- the distance between the library to Halo Pub. Yeah, you could probably spit in the wind. And yeah. <laughs> it's that close. So that makes me a little bit uh, un- uneasy. And uh, it feels to me the nature of this dialogue has changed. It changed from sort of a we're going to restore social justice by not punishing people for had a crime, whatever, whatever you think it is. Uh, especially a lot of these things were kind of racially targeted. And, uh, yeah, minorities, for whatever reasons, they were highly yeah, right? targeted, and, uh, jail sentences, yes. they can't do certain jobs after that. You know, they, yes, yeah, yes. They, so it, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense, but uh, all of a sudden it becomes, say, hey, let's open up shops everywhere. So I feel, hey, that's not right. 